And in other parts of Africa, former Ghanaian President Jerry Rawlins has died from complications to COVID-19. The ex-president was born on June 22, 1947 and died at a teaching hospital in Accra, capital of Ghana, on Thursday morning. Jerry was a military ruler who later joined politics and ruled Ghana from 1981 to 2001. He led the military junta until 1992 and then served two terms as the democratically elected president of Ghana. Joining us live is Kent Mensa, an AFP Ghana correspondent. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, um, Jay Rollins is revered and regarded as a brave leader. He is popular for, some say, revolutionizing the political and economic status of Ghana and the second most important Ghanaian ruler after Nkwame Nkrumah. What's the mood like in Ghana in reaction to his death? Well, I can tell you that uh, currently it's a nation in grief. We have been in mourning um, since yesterday. It came as a huge shock to the nation because no one expected that Rollins was going to die now. And literally, I must say that Rollins led a larger than life lifestyle. So, I mean, it, it, it doesn't come to mind immediately that Rollins was with. Although in the grapevine, we have heard that he wasn't well. He's not been well since um, last Thursday. And then he was um, rushed to the cardiothoracic center of the Polybu Teaching Hospital, as you rightly stated. And then he died yesterday, 10, 10 a.m., as announced by the president of Ghana. Okay. What does this say about the fight against COVID-19 in Ghana? As the family says, he died from complications related to the infection. Well, I, I must say that officially, we've not had um, any um, corresponded to that effect that he died of um, COVID-19 or um, related complications, but these are information being carried around um, in most of the media outlets, so there is no official um, announcement to that effect, but of course, these are what we are hearing from the grapevine that he may have died from um, COVID-19 related complications. We must also bear in mind that the former leader has not been well um, over the last few months. And uh, when he speaks, uh, his breath is not really stable. Sometimes he struggles to, to, to talk or he pants in, um, um, while he speaks. So he has had um, health issues over, over the years. And at age 73, um, literally there are somebody who've had um, different lifestyles um, uh, um, in the past. We, we, we should bear in mind that these are old age related signals. So fine, granted he had COVID-19, maybe that could be an underlying factor, but officially nothing Not to that effect has been announced. Okay, fair enough. The president of Ghana has announced a national week of mourning. Um, what should we expect uh, during this period? Yeah, so generally all political activities um, have been suspended by both um, political parties. I'm talking about the largest opposition party of which um, the, uh, the late president or the um, Rollins was a founder of that party. That's the National Democratic Congress of which former president John Dramani Mahama is currently the flag bearer for the 2020 uh, elections, which is happening on the 7th of December. Then the ruling or the governing new patriotic party of which the president is the flag bearer have also announced suspension of all political activities for the next seven days. So it means that um, we, we are just going to have a reflection of Rollins' life, um, just take a super reflection. Flags are going to fly at half mass. And also, this will be the week for planning, um, and then we are going to hear from the family as to when the funeral is going to um, take place, as, um, with, um, specifically about the date. I'm sure that as a, a state figure, and it may not be long, we are just going to hear about the, when he's going to be buried. And we have a feeling that he may be buried um, before the elections are held in December 7th, on December 7th. Okay, quickly, why, why, um, what impact do you think the suspension of campaigns by uh, the president and others will affect or impact the um, vote come December 7th? 
Well, um, it, it, it's quite difficult to tell because um, I've heard in certain quarters that this may be um, result in sympathy votes for the opposition party because um, one of the strongest sours who holds the party together is no more. But we must also take into consideration that the Rawlings have had a very frosty relationship with his party, of which is founded, because he felt that the party is being taken away from him um, after new crop of leaders um, have come um, to, to, to lead a party. So as to how it is going to have an impact on the party, it is really difficult to tell. But of course, there are people who have um, the, the, their kind of love-hate relationship um, for the party. And Rollins, we must also um, say, cut across all the um, life um, sector of Ghanaians, whether you hate him or you love him, uh, he is somebody who really plays a, a very huge impact in Ghana's politics, having played four decades uh, and role in, in, in our politics. So for this um, period that we're going to have a suspension of the um, campaign, it means that it's going to have effects on, on, on the political parties, their calendar. Moreover, we should remember that COVID-19 has affected a lot of the campaign and then the normal way of campaigning. So they don't have time at all, but definitely we, they have to adopt different strategies, be it um, probably looking at um, quietly campaigning, um, although we've suspended campaign officially. But as to how, what impact is going to have on the um, political parties and their votes, it's very difficult to tell, especially for the opposition party. But let me quickly take in and say that um, a lot of people are unhappy, especially from the opposition, saying that the president is taking advantage because of his good relationship with the, the president. He wants to more or less like um, curtail the campaigning of the opposition because once he suspends his campaign, uh, it means that the opposition must also suspend their campaign and which is going to have effect because he has an advantage over them. But I must put on record that it was opposition who first announced that they are going to suspend their campaign before the president also came in. So we, right. we need to see the impact it's going to have. But for now, Ghana is in grief and then we are all um, mourning. This, this is the, one of the biggest loss after the death of our former sitting president, uh, John Lewis Mills, of the same party that Rollins founded. All right. Uh, Ken Mensa of AFP, thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.